Hello everyone, welcome back to today's episode of Glitz and Glitter and today's bright idea. So, I ordered and received these huge, huge uh, temporary tattoos. But I didn't know they were huge until I got them because I thought these would be cool in a geode coaster. And then I get them and they are like bigger than my hand, like literally yeah they're huge and i didn't just get one i got this entire package of them two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i got 12 of these i got these from one day saving.com i will put the website on the screen and also in the description if you want to go check them out. They do have some resin items there. I have done a couple things from them and I have a couple more to do. So when I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have nothing that this will fit into. And then I remembered I have a clipboard mold because in my real, real job during the day, our other business... I actually do use a clipboard. I don't know many people that do use clipboards, but I do because um, we are out in the field all day. So I have this clipboard set. I still have four of, no, three more of these because I've already made one on my channel. And this comes with like four of these and then the little hardware you need to install said piece when you're done. So I decided because this is so big, that's what I'm going to do today. And then I'm thinking, how can I get my resin to look like a lion's mane? Now, I'm kind of upset that this was in black and white. Not upset. I knew it was up. I knew it was black and white when I got it. But I don't want to do a black and white resin piece. So I looked up lions, looked at a bunch of images, and they have like golden manes, very beautiful golden manes. And to get it to look like a mane, I'm going to do a geode style. So as if I was doing a geode coaster, I'm going to do a massive geode uh, clipboard. And then when the striations come all towards the center, I think that that would look like his mane. And then the clear center that I pour will be covered with this. So all I'm left with is the geode and the lion. I don't know. Do you think it's going to work? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Is this a good idea? What else would you put something this massive in? I don't know. So give me some ideas because I have 11 more to do. So this holds 10 ounces and it's not the best looking mold because I used it as a silicone mat to pour other things in and I had glitter all over it. I still have clear resin pieces on it. It won't come off with tape. So I realize, I figure when I pour the new resin in, it'll all come off with this one and then I will store it properly and not use it as a silicone mat again. It holds 10 ounces of resin and I'm going to use for his mane this Sunlight Gold. I think that's what that says. I think they spelled gold wrong. Sunlight Dold. This is, I think, an Estoyo uh, one from that kit that they sent me. And then I'm going to use Interference Gold instead of White, just to kind of play off of the gold. So I will take half of that 10 ounces and use for clear. And the other half I'm going to split 50-50 between these two colors. So I'm going to use my pump resin because it will let it move the most of all the resins that I have. This one will last the longest before it starts curing up. So I'm going to mix up the 10 ounces, split it in the cups, and then we'll come back. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know that when I'm stirring my resin, something pops into my head and I realize certain things or I change my mind. And that happened again today. Big surprise, right? So it holds 10 ounces, but then I'm thinking I have to top coat this and I wanted to do it in the mold. Why did I mix up 10 ounces? I should have only mixed up 8 ounces. 
So I've already mixed up 10 ounces. So what did I do? I put two aside. I got a coaster mold out and we're gonna try to crackle effect with the extra in these colors. See how it works out because I'm not doing the crackle effect here. So we're gonna see the geode here, the crackle effect here using the exact same things, just pouring it differently. So I'm going to, there's my four ounces in clear and then I have two each here and I'll split the coaster mold up one when I'm done with this. So I want gold and then the interference gold. And then, yeah, we'll worry about the coaster later. Actually, I think I'm gonna pour the clear in the coaster right now so it doesn't heat up as fast sitting in this mold. So you just, for a crackle effect, you just want a, a small thin layer of clear or a transparent of any color. So I'm just gonna do the clear because that's what I have. Gonna get a nice, beautiful golden mane. Just a tiny bit more. Set that aside. I hope this works out. 10 ounces is a lot of resin to be messing around. And if I really like it, I might put some lettering or a saying or I don't know. I've always changed my mind. Like the front thumbnail you guys see when you're scrolling through YouTube generally isn't what I planned on when I started setting up <laughs> for a video. It's usually something almost at least halfway different if not plan B. So probably what you saw on the front screen is not what I had in my head as I'm making this video right now. This is a really pretty, if you're looking for like a creamy color, off-white ivory, this is the color to get. Everything's linked in the description if you want anything. I love the interference colors because they're white with like a glimmer of different color. I have blue, I have green, I have purple, I have gold. I think I have one other one, I can't remember offhand. Red. I have interference red. I think the set on Amazon where I got them was this. You could choose. I, I think you chose one of the five, or I just ordered all five, or it came as a set of five. I don't remember. Either if you did choose them, I wasn't able to choose, so I got them all. Sometimes that happens. If I can't make up my mind, then basically I get them all. Just make sure all of your powder is mixed in, which mine is not, or it will float and you will see it. And I do want to tell you, I have done geode style on a notebook, kind of similar to this design with these little nubbins sticking out. And it does kind of screw up your geode at that point. But because this is going to cover that right there, you won't see too much of the messed up effect that you get from the interference from that. So I'm just gonna take the darkest color that you choose and go around the outer edge. I have to wipe this because I got powder on it. Although, yeah, well, probably be on the back. So I'm just going to go around evenly evenly as I can anyway and my hair is not tied back today so I hope I don't get it in the resin let's push it to the side And that 
is getting out of place or my mat is not level, one of the two. Then you take your clear and you pour it in the center. Now this one doesn't look like it's going to be too even because of what I did there. get my heat gun I will put you on a time lapse. But before I do that, I need to pour this coaster. Let me find my big stick. Oh, I used this today. Remix my colors and then just pour them into my coaster mold. And hopefully one of the two will work today. Hopefully they both work today. So I'm going to pop some bubbles in here first, and then let's do the light color. Really no rhyme or reason. Actually, I think I'll do the same, same way I did the other one. I'm going to pour it around.
spray it with the heat gun. you on a time lapse. It is the next day and I don't like it. I know what I did wrong and I'm going to fix this. So what I did, I don't know if you could see that well, not thinking because this is a rectangle and not a circle. My usual go-to is half clear on a geode style like a coaster. Because of the more surface that I had to cover it gave me less color for the edges and too much clear for the center so the effect didn't come in. Even if I put this on there, I have too much that didn't get affected on the edges and I don't like it and I don't want to not use it and just finish a project to finish it. So I know you will have to stick around a few more minutes because I'm literally gonna start this over and I'm going to change my ratios. But until then, let's check this one out. It looks like it worked. Let's see if it worked. It worked, but I don't like the ring around the edge. So the colors didn't combine. So in all of this messing around with this crackle effect, what I'm learning is one color not two colors. I don't like the way two colors are coming out. They're not, they're not combining together in the item. So when you're doing a crackle effect, I recommend picking one color. This had clear in it, so this didn't even have like a colored transparent, which you could have done a colored transparent. But the clear worked fine as well for the crackle, but yeah, they're not, um, they're not combining together like they do on a geode like this, they combine together in these striations. So I am literally going to take this out. Let's look at the back. And I got my leveling table out. It wasn't level. I didn't like that either. Here's the back, just as bad. So yeah, I'm gonna mix up some more resin and this time I'm going to actually fill it. I'm gonna do the 10 ounces because I needed more, I needed thicker to do more of a reaction. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pour it full, then I'll lay this in it, and then I'm gonna leave it in here to, to you know, help me with the top coat. So even if it pours over, it's okay. I might have some trimming to do, but it won't like drip everywhere if I go over this big of a surface. So let me grab 10 ounces and get it split up. I won't bore you with coloring it and splitting it. I'm just gonna come back and pour it. Now the one good thing about peeling that old one off is it cleaned my thing off really, really nice. Well, that's wet right now, but it cleaned all that extra stuff I couldn't get off with tape. So I mixed up 10 ounces and this is the way I split it. I did three ounces of clear, three ounces of the interference gold and four ounces of the darker gold. So if this doesn't work, then I'm giving up. I'm not gonna waste more resin on this. It should be okay though. So let me just get this stuff out of my way so I can full range of my hand, go around again. I'm just going to try to get it even as I can. Let's 
scrape it out. I did make a few extra pendants with the last leftovers that you guys will get with your orders. I'll show you those in a minute. This looks better already. This is what I really wanted it to look like. It's been a long time since I made those black and white placemats, so I forgot what it needed to look like. I should have watched my own video before I started this. All right, and then we're just gonna take the clear and put it in the center. And I will give you another time lapse as soon as I scrape this stuff. And I'm going to heat it too. Well, as you saw in that time lapse, I clearly am on plan C and I'm getting frustrated because I did not have my leveling table level. I leveled it one way, I didn't level it the other way. So now my pattern is mostly on this side and hardly any on that side. So I am not doing this again. So I came up with plan C to try to save this one. So I'm still going to put this guy here which I'm just going to say, you know, he's running in the wind and his mane is like blowing this way. So then I'm like, this side looks completely different than this side. So what kind of graphic or saying can I put on here? I'll cut something out of my cricket. So the first thing I thought of when I see a lion was a lion of Judah. So I did write a lion of Judah on the throne and I'm going to put this on that side, I think. Prior to that, I did finish the two pendants. This is the only good thing that is coming out of this. So these came out really pretty. I UV resin the top of them to get a nice dome on them. And I have three more sitting over there from the second batch. So that's one good thing. So before I put lettering on, let me see if I can even get this on properly. I'm just going to turn this now so I can see it right. I know you can't see the whole thing. Let me see. I'm going to take the little piece of plastic off. Hopefully get him straight and kind of centered, I guess. I don't know at this point. Now, if you were gonna make a bowl, this is the perfect time to do it because you can manipulate it. You're not leaving fingerprints on it. 
So if you're making a bowl, now's the perfect time to pull it out of your mold and shape your bowl. If it was a nicer, <laughs> it was a nicer pattern, that could have been a good option at this point. I wish I had more molds big enough to put this lion on because I just don't have any other molds and I wanted to use him. So I'm just going to like squeeze the water out onto this paper and get the uh, transfer going. You know how many times I was like, forget it, I'm not finishing this video. And then I remember all of you saying, please do, please show us your fails. So that's what I'm doing. I'm showing you my fail. Hopefully, I'm not going to fail at this. Now I do need to wait till this is completely dry before I move on. All right, he's off. Let me get a dry paper towel. See what the lettering looks like. I chose black because he's black, obviously, and white. And then I'm going to top coat it with clear resin, which is now not going to be level in here because the top is thicker and the bottom is thicker. The sides are not as thick, so it's a mess. It's a good thing this is not for a customer because there is no way I would sell this. So just if you do use a transfer like this, don't pour resin on it while it's wet. It will not work. I'm just pressing all the bubbles down because there were some bubbles in there. Now, I'm going to turn it back this way so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I see a few more bubbles this way. Okay, that looks good. He's pretty dry. Let's see if I can get this on. Now I used my um, super sticky transfer tape this time because when I use the blue painter's tape, you can't see through it. And I was like, I am not gonna mess this up. So let's hope I can get this straight. Oh boy, I forgot that my resin isn't completely cured, which means I'm making marks in it, but since I'm top coating it, it shouldn't matter. Of course, you know, the super sticky stuff that you have to use, I just can't win on this project. I don't think you'll see the marks anyway, but I'm getting frustrated on this one. Okay, there we go. Now you can save your transfer tape, especially the super sticky stuff, and use it multiple times until it doesn't stick anymore. I'm just gonna put it back on its backing and save it. Save it for later. All right, now I have to guess. Let's see, that's on, that ain't going anywhere. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's too horrible, but it's definitely not my plan A, and it was not my plan B. So let me figure out how much resin to top coat, and I will mix it up and come right back. So as I'm stirring, I mixed up four ounces I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Probably not because nothing's going right. I'm like, glitter will make it better. So I'm going to use my Gold Rush. This is an extra fine 
a gold shimmer and this should stay um, suspended in the in the resin and you only need a super tiny bit. Now these are not the containers you're gonna get my glitter in. You're gonna get way more than, this is just my little samples so I can use a little bit. Um, this is not how much you get. You get way, 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 way more than this in an order. So I just bought tiny little jars so I could keep a little back so I know what I'm talking about. So I just put a tiny little itsy bitsy bit in there. And as you can see, it's really, really fine and really shimmery. So I figured gold would be a good choice. And I'm just going to, you know, dump it on <laughs> and hope, hope I made enough. If not, I will mix up more and do it off camera because this is getting ridiculous at this point. And I will probably need more because it is not even going to the edges. I just can't believe it. I mean, I know I measured this with water and it, it like filled it to the rim with 10 ounces. So I have no idea what the heck is going on here because I have 10 ounces in there already. Now I just added four. And I'm going to have that. Well, honestly, it's covering up those little holes. So you're probably not supposed to do that. But I'll drill through them so I could put my hardware on later. So my guess is I'm putting too much. But that's okay because I need to top coat this baby. actually pretty perfect so something's actually going right because it's deeper in the middle than it was on the edges so I'm just going to I'm gonna spray it I'm not gonna torch it and then we'll demold it in a few seconds finished and I didn't demold it with you because there was really no reveal so I took it out of the mold I added the hardware which was really simple two screws at the top and here is the bottom which is ugly of course it always is when you do that kind of pour here is the top and I think the glitter won me over so the sparkle in it I love so because this is a very thin piece, kind of like a bookmark that you would pour, it's going to take more than one day to get hard. It is a little bit bendy, so I'm just going to leave it on a flat surface. Like full cure is 30 days, I think, but it'll be okay in a couple days to be using. So I hope you learned from my mistakes. Always have a level surface. Try to get your right ratios the right time. <laughs> Anyway, I hope tomorrow's video is better for you guys. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out with me. I do appreciate every single one of you. You guys have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Oh, mm -hmm.